Hi there, I'm Dan Smith. I'm just about to go through some of my data for Annie's target. So I'm just going to pick uh, or cherry pick some of my favorite bits on this. I do know what the target is now. Uh, I didn't when I did the remote viewing, I did it blind. But now knowing what the target is, I'm just going to pick some data that I feel is most relevant here. Um, so the first thing right off the bat, uh, I had all this stuff about um, fluffy clouds uh, with lots of vapor here. Um, yeah, it feels like an after effect of residue or something. So yeah, definitely a vap vaporous place here. Um, let's skip on here. Uh, definitely also here uh, fe felt like it was an object on a sweeping motion. I even had a star here. I felt it was a star of some kind, and it was on a on a it was on a flight path overhead in the sky. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so it was on a flight path here overhead in a sweeping motion. Felt very star like. As I said, it felt like it was moving fast, lots of sweet motion there. I felt like there was life there on the planet, uh, or on the air area itself. Um, and again, I kept getting all this cloudy kind of energy. That's just a sketch of, uh, of you know, some kind of life form there. Um, I did have some kind of downwards movement energy event. I don't know what that is, but, you know, Henny described that in her production. Definitely felt that there was uh, life involved here, so possibly life on the planet i don't know uh, and i also felt that there was a life looking up at the sky at free energy balls it felt like this was some kind of um astrological kind of uh, event that someone was looking up in the sky maybe i don't know maybe from the planet surface you do see several close stars or suns or some or moons or something i don't know but that felt like what they were looking at there on another session here, again, definitely an energy and motion here in the sky. I felt like the, the cloud itself had particulates in it. Um, so it felt like, you know, maybe some kind of ash or something in the in the sky there. Definitely a sweeping motion for this place here. You know, something in a sweeping motion up high in the sky and space. So, you know, that would show the, uh, the actual movement of the star or planet itself. Again, you know, it's on a circular arc tra trajectory. Feels like a flight path arc circular sweep movement so yeah generally you know basically kind of la landscape locational details here for for the target here as well i felt like there was going to be water there with chemicals um and lots of f fluffy sky control so something in the sky that makes it different if you're on the surface looking up at the sky and um, the sky is different from what we would get here on earth um here's something in emotion here i don't know what this is that is but there's definitely something in motion in space here um feels like it's on a on a flight path there you know almost like a slingshot type uh, flight path uh what that is i don't know maybe i might be describing the actual planet itself i do not know at this stage here uh again i might be describing the planet or core maybe it has some very subtle rings of energy around it i don't know at this stage um uh it's quite possible but we shall see um, but definitely you know related to the planet target uh i think that's pretty spot on um, and again, I felt like there was a visual event in the skies, almost like an explosion or an astrological event that was being watched or something that's important towards this target. And it actually felt like there were people or life looking up at this, surprised at what's happening. So maybe it's a location that has lots of, you know, visionary stuff happening in the skies above it because of the stars, planets, moons, whatever's in the vicinity. I don't know. Uh, maybe we will one day, but I doubt it. Other data I think is interesting. Uh, I was getting lots of stuff about an energy release wave like concentric. You know, feels like it's had lots of compression and movement of air. Air, sorry. It feels like it was a visual spectacle on that. And then a third session here, um, again, some, some kind of expanding glow or energetic force, uh, ionized clouds, gases, particles, and, and debris. So it feels like there's there's something actually in the air itself. Um, it's not, it feels, you know, like it's tainted or as ash or, or particles in, in the air of some kind. Um, I was getting all this energy event. I don't know what that's about, you know, and there's me trying to describe this energy event that someone was viewing. Maybe it's something to do with the sky or the landscape. I don't know. It could be volcanic for all I know. Um, Again, one day maybe we will know. As I said here, I kept getting lots of debris falling down. Small, these were parts of a hull. Um, I don't know what's going on here, to be honest, or what I'm seeing. Uh, I did have an idea that this might have something to do with an object of some kind that was in the sky that had an energy event where it you know, exploded or disintegrated. 
um, with this coming down towards the land area. So I do not know on that one. Again, lots of stuff here about descending uh, object. Uh, yeah, descending down from the sky at speed. Other stuff here. Uh, I don't know if any of this is relevant. I don't know where this was fit, but I was seeing this spherical object with uh, areas around it here like this. Now, I felt this was a metal kind of thing, but now I know the target's a planet. I'm wondering if I misinterpreted this and this is a target and that it might actually have very subtle rings around it in some way that we don't know about. Um, maybe one day with probes or better uh, telescopes, we'll see. I don't know, but as the, you know, as the target's a planet, it feels a bit strange now that the actual visual's quite planet-like. Um, and the rest of the data might be off and it might be my imagination. I do not know. I don't think there's going to be um, this technology there, but we never know. If there is life on the planet, they may have what this looks like, which is like rocket-like and very kind of strange, uh, metallic, kind of spinning, kind of, um, I would say, man-made constructed technology. Um, so that's my data on it. I think I had some data that picks up the target. Um, I don't know what all this data that indicates flying, it looks like flying objects in life uh, and how all that fits in. Um, I think my ionized particular fluffy cow and energy data came up, which was quite interesting. And, you know, I think my earlier data of an object moving on, on this, you know, this flight path and, you know, even having the word star. It's very on. So I think I'm half on, half on on this one, half on, on this one. But, you know, with the off stuff, it might just be because, you know, this is a, a planet so far away that we just do not have enough feedback information yet. And one day some of this may become true. So that's it. That's the highlights of my RV. Hope you like that. Great target. See you again. Namaste.